Norfolk trading wherry is the Maud. She's been called the wherry that refused to die, which is about right because after lying sunk for 16 years she's sailing once more. She was built in 1899 by Hall of Reedham for a timber yard and river haulage contractor from Great Yarmouth, and after the Second World War she was given a Kelvin engine and carried cargoes of coal and sugar beet. But in the mid-1960s her luck ran out. Ranworth Broad was suffering erosion and she was sunk as protection. In 1976 Maud was moved to make room for a nature trail, then re-sunk and filled with mud. And there she lay until she was given to the present owners. Needless to say, by this time she was in wretched condition. The restoration began in 1981 and took 18 years. Maud was relaunched in her centenary year, and once again she's sailing the waters she was born for. This is the wonder of the Norfolk Wherry. We're just sailing along here through, effectively, right in the reeds and the boat's still sailing. You can't imagine if you're a deep sea man what that feels like, it's just quite freaky. And the boat, um, we could be hauling 40 tonnes of cargo here, no problem at all. This is the sort of boat that did that job in Norfolk, on the broads and on the rivers between Norwich and Great Yarmouth back a hundred years ago. There are only two of them left now. And, and this is one of them, the Maud. She's built of clinker-built oak planking, very heavy oak planking, all iron fastened. The rig is absolutely amazing. It's a single gigantic black gaff sail. It's only got one halyard and this is it here. It doesn't have, it doesn't have a throat and a peak. The single halyard on this great big simple winch winds the whole thing up and as it goes it pulls up the throat first and when the throat's just about there the, the load starts to magically somehow transfer to the peak uh, and up goes the peak and away you go. There's no engine on the boat of any sort, never has been. Um, she's propelled by quant poles when she's not sailing and that can be seriously hard work especially if the vessel were laden. Um, Quant goes in the water, that great big button on the end goes into your shoulder and then you walk all the way down the side deck, uh, ideally one of you either side and if you've got two men you could do that. <clears throat> if you've got three men you're laughing because we can have one on each quant pole and one steering at the stern and that's, that's ideal. Um, but it's hard, it's hard graft, your thighs and your back are doing the work as you push the boat along. <laughs> what I love best about this really is the scene around us. A lot of people come here for their holidays, they hire motorboats of one sort or another, but what I love is to see the fields. The fields, the cows are coming right up, right up to us. The windmills in the distance, there's always a windmill in sight somewhere, and the windmills are what kept this land working long before any machinery was thought of. But really, for me, this is a very special moment to be on a wherry. I've seen wherries Really, all my life I've been able to see them when I've been in Norfolk. There are very few of them around, but if you see one it's a special day, but to actually be on one, and I'm amazed how fast we're going, there's very little breeze, and yet we're creeping along past the reeds, just as she must have crept a hundred years ago, carrying the commerce of Norfolk.